Hi everyone, I'm so excited for today's tutorial. I am showing you how to put together a candy cutery board or a chartreuse board, however you want to say it. It's coming right up. Okay, my friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and I am so excited for today's tutorial because this is one of my favorite projects to do. And there are a million different variations. I'll show you a couple, but it's one of those things where you can just take your creativity and run with it. So charcuterie boards are kind of trending right now. And a traditional charcuterie board um, is a board like this. Any kind of board it can be any shape, size, um, and it's usually filled with different like, sliced meats, like salami and prosciutto and um, some fancy cheeses and maybe grapes and crackers. And it's just arranged really nice and pretty. And it's usually served at like nice parties. Well, it doesn't even have to be a nice party. Um, it's just kind of a, a tasting plate or tasting area or d'oeuvre, whatever. Um, but what has happened is it's now kind of transformed into an anything goes board. So I've kind of named it my chartreuse board instead of charcuterie board, um, or you can call it candy cutery board. So I'm gonna show you how to put the, one of these together using um, more sweet treats, candy, cookies, whatnot. So what you need to do is you just need to find any cutting board. It can be any size. I've done huge cutting boards before. They can be round, oval. I found this at my local gro grocery store. It's a 13 by 18 inch board, and it wasn't very expensive. I'm thinking it was um, 12 to 15 dollars. But you can use it over and over and over again. And this is so much fun to have at a party. Um, it's such a cute centerpiece, and you can theme it for any holiday. Um, I'm going to kind of go with the autumn Halloween holiday that's coming up but really anything goes. I've done Valentine's, I've done Christmas, I've done a birthday one. It's so much fun. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find different containers, anything, any size, any shape, any color. I also found these at my grocery store and I just looked through my cupboards to see what I had as well. I have some glass round ones, I have some glass square ones, I have some cute wooden ones. I've got a larger one here some white like ramekins, so many options. The next thing you're going to want to do is gather any type of candy or cookie or treat or mixed, salted mixed nuts, anything you want to put on this board, anything you might be able to just pick up by hand and snack on. Um, I actually did not go to the store for any of this candy. I went through my cupboards and just found what I already had. So for this one, I've got some licorice and some gummy bears. I also found some Oreo cookies and some cookie butter cookies from Trader Joe's. You can do homemade snacks. I've done dipped strawberries before or chocolate chip cookies that I've made. I've got some candy corns and some chocolates, caramels, candy, borns, candy bars, lots of different variety. Okay, so now we're going to get started. I'm just going to place some different items on my board. I think I'm gonna do the pumpkin and there, I like that. I like that arrangement, you can do anything you want, really anything goes. So I start by placing the dishes on and then I start with the large items first. So I'm gonna start with some Oreo cookies and oh, let's grab like five or six of them and I'm just gonna start arranging on my board. I, I'm gonna do a straight line down there and let's try these cookies next and I want to do something different than just a line so I'm gonna maybe stack them up here in kind of like a square Okay, let's, let's open the licorice, see what we can do with this. I'm just gonna break off some pieces. Oh, let's go down the center here. Let's just line some licorice up right here. Oh, 
might as well use the whole pack. Now I'm gonna get some of my smaller items and fill these containers. So I'm gonna put these mixed nuts maybe right in this one. And then I've got some gummy bears. Let's fill this little dish up. Um, I have these cute foil chocolate balls I think I'm gonna put in here. And then I've got like some little candy corns and candy pumpkins. Fill that cookie cutter up. Okay. Let's see, I've got some candy bars. So you just wanna start filling in the, the open spaces. And feel free to move things around if you need to. So I'm gonna put these candy bars right here. Stack those up. And then let's put these candy bars down here. Got some of these like mango flavored Tootsie Rolls. I'm gonna make a pile right here. And let's make stack some caramels. Do you say it caramel or caramel? I grew up saying caramel caramel apple, but some people really think it should be caramel. It's probably a Utah thing, caramel, I don't know. I'm stacking my caramels up right here. That ought to do it. Okay, I've got these little wrapped hard candies. I'm gonna put right in the center here. We've got these kind of larger wrapped candy bars. I'll make a little stack back here. Do you see how I'm just kind of filling in with all these the different variety of candies? These candy pumpkins. Place right here. And I feel like I need one more thing here or one more thing there. What have I what have I not used yet? I have these fun lollipops. I think I want to try to stack right here. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear. Just like that. And there is our cute candy cutery board. Wouldn't that be so fun at a party? Halloween party or birthday party. Just something that guests can walk past, grab a few things here and there. So much variety and just so much fun to look at. So play around with different ideas, play around with different items that you have in your house, any container, cookie cutters, candy. There really is no rule to these candy cutery boards and they're so much fun to make. If you wanna see more ideas like this, please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you here next time.